Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. This video is sponsored by Sonoran Desert Institute. If you're interested in a career in the ever-growing firearms industry, arm yourself with an education. Sonoran Desert Institute offers online learning like armor courses all the way up to an associate degree. Visit sdi.edu or call 480-999-4767 to learn more. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. After Agent on today we're looking at the standard manufacturing S333 Thunderstruck Revolver. Chambered in 22 Magnum. Holds eight shells in the cylinder. It's a double barrel. So with each pull of the double trigger, two shots of 22 Magnum will come out. They have a tactical urethane grip there. That's what they called it. And three dot milled in sights on top of the frame an aluminum frame steel barrels steel cylinder does have a trigger bar safety in there and transfer bar safeties internally now this does have a heavy trigger pull and this is the updated model the updated model has an inch and a half long barrels opposed to the inch and a quarter long barrels now people either love it or hate it okay it's innovative a lot of people like that new firearm uh, 429 is msrp and you know they, they they want to get the new firearm but a lot of people don't like it they say i'd rather have something else and that that goes with anything now the first time i shot the original with the four and a quarter inch barrels i shot from about this distance i would say seven yards and i went for that tombstone right down below i'm going to go for that right now they said that the longer barrels even by a quarter inch will prevent the tumbling and give a little bit more accuracy so we're going to see if that's true at least for me right here i missed let me try dropping that side a little bit i missed again all right so i see what i'm doing all right so the last two i hit i can see where i hit let me see if these will Okay, what happens is the case expands and it's hard to get those shells out there. Last time I took my pocket knife and I tapped on this to get them out and I was able to do that, get them out there and then as they expand, there's not a lot of room for them to go with the ejector. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Of course, we won't be able to see if it tumbled or not, but we will be able to see the four shots that did hit. And that's what we're looking at right there. The one thing I learned when shooting that tombstone target was to hold the sights quite a bit lower. So by using the three dot sights, it's not like a standard handgun where you would line that you know, with each other and fire at the target. I had to shoot very much lower. Now the S333 stands for, what standard manufacturing says is three yards, three shots, and three seconds is your average self-defense round. So I've got some paper here on the berm. I'm gonna back up close to three yards anyways. And I'm going to hold low and see how well that'll look on paper. Let's see. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at those entry holes. Come over here to get out of the shade. All right, that was, I believe, the first one. Those look pretty clean to me. Those look pretty. Now that could be a tumble or it could be the angle that it was shot. I'm not going to say now. I, I haven't done much <laughs> in terms of this, so I'm not exactly sure. I typically shoot steel, but that it doesn't look too bad to me anyways. So it, it's possible that that the, the longer barrels did help with the tumbling issue or those tumbled. I don't think they did though. I think that they're pretty clean shots. And actually I didn't hold too much lower. So. All right, pretty close to the steel. I am not worried about ricochet. Let's start right here. All right, so the bottom line is this guys. This is 
a belly gun. It's not it's not for distance. You know, you would be unwise to use it from distance. I would say three yards on in. All right. So if, if that's attractive to you, then the S33 might be attractive to you. But it's certainly different. It's innovative. Some people call it a, a novelty gun, whatever the case. I'm a collector. I like all types of guns, certainly different guns. And I think that it's cool in its own way. And you know, how often have you seen a open trigger guard like that with a two finger trigger pull firing two shots? Probably not at all. I know I haven't seen anything like this since it was originally released, but there it is. You wanted a range review, many people, I said I was gonna do it. A lot of people said I'm looking forward to the range review and that was my range review. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.